what's up? I'm just watching the Heat game. Advertisement. My Sony TV. Bravia. Well, for example, I'm gonna show you a video about a league. And it is a perfect example to have change of ownership and the change of CEO. Well, having an Asian sh having an Asian guy as a CEO and have of the Miami Dolphins and having um, this dude named um, Mickey Harrison as the owner of the Miami Dolphins. Well, you have to they have to do one one or two things. You know, I'm watching it. He, the Miami Heat are winning. Mickey Harrison. So, I'm just saying, I might just roll this tape on. This is the fourth quarter. I'm rolling this. 61-44, Miami Heat winning. Alright? Darn, you gotta have love that team from Miami. But the Miami Dolphins, on the other hand, well, I'm just doing this thing that I have never did. But well, I have first of all, I have did this thing, changing the old logo, the Miami Dolphins new logo, uh, quite just cosmetically change, Carnival, NFL's M's from Miami. Well, that's it. Well, this is the logo that that I have for the Miami Dolphins. This is the current logo, but but the logo that I did is I put an anime eye in the with a Photoshop anime eye. But now, but now I'm just thinking 190 Dolphins. 19-0 Dolphins will not be the same logo. The new logo will give them 19-0. Here we go. Chicago Bulls are, are, are scoring. But yes. I would roll this of the X-League uh, video. X-League means is uh, American football. In Japan, that means there are corporate names, and what I'm saying about corporate names is that is that these teams are corp are corporations. That means that um, if it's the Miami Dolphins here in Miami, right there, right there in Japan, for Carnival having a ship cruise from Fukuoka to. Why call the dolphin? It will be called the Carnival Dolphins because you know, thank goodness that about Carnival Cruise Lines expansion and a football team that and and the uh, Miami Dolphins playing their first game season game overseas. All it is because of a new stadium that I wondered that foreign investment. This, I think this is the only possibility it is. You know, uh, Mickey Harrison foreign, doing foreign investment to build a new stadium. And I think that I believe it is better for, for Mickey Harrison and uh, Asian CEO for the Miami Dolphins to replace Mike D. But Mickey Harrison is the owner. No, no, no doubt about that. The only difference is that Sun Life Stadium should be demolished. The rest of the home games of the Miami Dolphins home games played here in the States will be played in Lockhart Stadium for a while until they build that new stadium. Why did I tell you? That she need to build a new stadium. 
I think. Since I saw the demolition of the Miami Arena from the new owner of the Miami Dolphins, I mean the future owner of the Miami Dolphins that I wish to be, I has just made the design of a of a, a new logo that actually it looks kind of like similar to this. This is my brother's hat. It looks like this. It does look like this. But only difference is I drew it. I did it just for out of a piece of paper. You know each what it is if you know that NFL is Miami the Miami Dolphins MIA. The only difference is gonna be the same colors as this. This is the current logo that we all know and love, but it's time for a change. And not a stupid change, but a better change. You know, to have a new sign of a 19 and 0. While the X League, when I show the video about the X League, it will be a red, white, and blue. You know, the same thing, but the colors will be red, white, and blue because of Carnival Cruise Lines. Because the company, but because that team is sponsored by Carnival Cruise Lines. It belongs to Carnival Cruise Lines. Why? Because this corporate name is Carnival Dolphins. You know, that's what it is. The first thing, the first thing they have to do is the ownership of, of, of you know, of the ownership of the Miami Dolphins will be under Mickey Arison. It will be the first thing is demolish the. Will be you know playing their first season game, the first preseason games, the last, not the preseason games. Play though, um, like yeah, even to start with the inauguration of the new stadium. Most of the preseason games on the inauguration, the new stadium before it opens, would be played overseas as the first first game under Mickey Arison's management. The first home game of, of the season will be played overseas. But will will it be? Is night will be nighttime over there when they play overseas? Daytime in the halftime show when the first game season game played overseas. The um, Sun Life Stadium will be demolished. Demolished. Using explosives, explosives that could blow up all the stadium, like I'm seeing. Pretty cool, right? I see. I would love to see the Sun Life Stadium being all blown up t into smithereens. Yeah, it would be better. It would be great. But then after that, I will show you the dolphin. This is the new Miami Dolphins logo. Look like that. The only difference is is the same green aqua orange color. It's holding a football. Looks like the Miami Heat. But this is how the 19 and 0 Dolphins would look like. This is pure 19 and 0. Well, M is for Miami. Look at this. If you see here. It says USA the M, JPM, JPN. The C is Carnival. Miami is in the NFL. The US flag. X League Carnival F U K. You know what town? You know what town it is? Well, first home game for the Miami Dolphins will be played overseas at the Yahoo Dome. In Japan, the first game of the Mickey Arison's Dolphins will be played. Home season game, regular season game, will be played at the Yahoo Dome in Japan. That day is when the day they dem they demolished the Sun Life Stadium. The rest of the, the rest of the other season game that will play here, in Miami, will be played in Fort Lauderdale at. At Lockhart Stadium. 
until the day they reop they open the new stadium, they're gonna look exactly the same. It's gonna be made for the football for my the Miami Dolphins. Will it be, will it be the same design as the as the stadium that the Dolphins will play the first season game under the Mickey Harrison's ownership in Fukuoka, Japan, known as the Yaku Dome, but it's could be designed in there. That's the that's the Carnival Dolphins home. They'll play in the Carnival Dolphins home. This is like a promote. Here's the Miami Dolphins. Well, and before the inauguration of the, the day of the opening in preseason, in the year that they opened the Miami Yahoo Dome. Looks like the one that they play, they're going to play their preseason games in Japan. They'll be exactly the same, more steady, are more modern than whatever other NFL teams' stadiums will have. But in a way, it's just like saying, oh yeah, somebody come there even... If I have my, either two mice, my one, the killer channel, want to come to Miami, that's, oh shoot, this look like home, yeah, it's the new Dolphin State, it's the new stadium of the Miami Dolphins, that people that live in Fukuoka come and say, oh yeah, this look like the stadium that I go over there, watching their baseball games, <laughs> but I will show you this video I'm watching finish the game but I will show you this video about the X League and why did I show you why is that the new Miami new home of the Miami Dolphins under Mickey Harrison Harrison uh, ownership will look like that and why is the reason that instead of remodeling uh, Sun Life Stadium, Joe Robbie Stadium, that's the original name, go back to Joe Robbie Stadium, the last game will be a contribution of playing X-League football, I mean, American football, to the X-League teams when it's called Joe Robbie Stadium, that's the last game, and then after that, opening seasoning for the Miami Dolphins, home game will be played overseas, it will be shown in overseas, in halftime, showing the demolition of the Sunlight sta Stadium being crumbled down. Go or go all the way all the way to smithereens until they build a new stadium. So I'm gonna roll this tape over and I'll tell you how it is why this stadium needs to be demolished because I'm gonna show you a picture of how the new Mad Dolphin Stadiums will look like. Goodbye. リーグの方はスリーディビジョンございます。ウェスタンディビジョンとセントラルディビジョン、イースタンディビジョン。それぞれ6チームございまして、X リーグは全部で18チームでございます。まだアメリカほどの観客もそれからポピュラリティもありませ
そこでセミファイナルファイナルとこれがファイナルステージでございます最終戦は12月の今年は19日になりますがマンデーナイトフットボールということでこの東京ドームで行われます。外国籍選手でプロ経験のないどなたでも参加することができます1チームあたり最高4名フィールド上で2名というのが外国籍選手の規定でございますもう10年ほど前から外国籍選手の選手も参加しておりまして現在は10人以上所属しておりますはい。And then on the weekends, practice as well. And, and all week, they're either working or they're playing football with no days off.、Um, I went and walked on at University of Arizona、uh, as a receiver. And、uh, after my first season, I got a scholarship, a full scholarship. And after graduating from Arizona, I had an opportunity to come to Japan. The, the X League had opened to foreign players. I'm from the San Diego, California. I played at Sweetwater High School. So I went to Palomar Junior College in San Diego, played two years there. Was、um, all American and then ended up earning a scholarship at the University of Nevada, Reno, where I was an all league first team. The, the head coach at the time was Dan Lenz, and he was a good friend of mine from Palomar. He was my, my junior college coach, and、uh, he left when I was a freshman at Palomar. He left to Japan to come coach, and then, you know, I, I played at Palomar, then I went to Division I, played football there, and then.、Uh, When I came back to San Diego, I went to Panama to visit, and he was there and he asked me, he recruited me actually to come play in Japan.、Uh, Dan told me about football in Japan. I was like surprised. I was like, Japanese play football? I was like surprised about it.、So、I had no idea at first. So I've been here ever since 2003. So. 川崎市には今日戦います富士通フロンティアーズ、それから朝日ビールシルバースター。野島相模原ライズが相模原、それから富士ゼロックスミネルバイ AFC が海老名を拠点としております。日本のアメリカンフットボールは今年で77年目になります。76年前にはアメリカ遠征をしているといったような歴史がございます。Japan, the league is great here. They still, maybe compared to the US, they don't have the same athletes or the size. But every year I see it get better. They're starting to get a lot of more players from, they were only playing baseball maybe as children. And now those players are starting to play American football. So the talent's getting better. The coaching is, is getting much, much better over the years.、Uh, our head coach is, is a great mind here in the X League, I think.、So. 大きな声出して、それでその不正に応えてくれるその姿、それがすごく最高だと思います。We would love to practice with high school team with American players. It, it, it'll be a great experience for us. You know, if we have the time, we can do it. We, usually, we practice on the weekends, so it's pretty tough. Our players work during the、uh, during the week, so it's pretty tough for us to to come out to、uh, you know practice them. But I mean, if we find some time somehow somewhere, we would love to come out and and, and practice with them or help them out or do you know lend a helping hand any way we can. So. Please come out and、uh, support us. Please come out and watch our games, have fun, you know, drink some beer, and, and watch us get after it. The X League is pretty exciting, so, especially when、uh, we're playing other teams that have other foreigners on it. So, we encourage you guys to come out and support us.、Uh, thank you. Please come to the stadium and enjoy our exciting football game of X League. It is what it is. After I've seen the Heat game from the Miami Heat beating the Chicago Bulls 88 to 64, it was awesome. Well, 
same thing what it is, is that changing the CEO of the Miami Dolphins to have an Asian guy, more, most actually a Japanese guy, and have Mickey Harrison as the owner of the Miami Dolphins. Well, maybe it would be that this, this CEO might have Mickey Harrison as the owner, Coach might be one of the Shulas. Manager might be one of the Shulas. I don't know, Dan Marine. I don't know how it is, but well, it's gonna be well organized, ready to do what it is. Better owner, uh, better management, and better coach. That's how it is. What it is is that once. What it is, is that once the ownership of the Miami Dolphins, the new ownership, that Mickey Arison have ownership of the Miami Dolphins, you know, you have the same guy that now owns the generation of the Miami Heat franchise. Start from Ted Arison's, Ted Arison? To Mickey Harrison, and then they're gonna have it to Nick Harrison. But Mickey Harrison, as the new owner of the Miami Dolphins, what it is is foreign investment. Dumb, uh, foreign investment that means the money came from overseas, you know, at least investment from Japan. You know, like foreign investors from Japan could pay to build a new stadium. And then this is where it is that where the two, the last game of the, in some life, to be changed to back to Joe Robbie, that the last game of that stadium would be a game of X League. Like I showed the X League. And then after that, the new ownership of the Miami Dolphins would be on, like under the Mickey Harrison control. You know, even though the CEO is a Japanese guy, but Mickey Harrison is the owner. Then the Dolphins' first home season game would be played at Yahoo, Yahoo Dome. Played overseas, they will, play, they will play their first home game in Fukuoka, Japan. And that and that day is where the day they demolished the Sun Life Stadium or Joe Robbie Stadium when they changed the name back to Joe Robbie Stadium. Doom, demolished, gone. They just even showed on on halftime after like some J-pop group called Triple A sings. Um, Breakdown. That's it. You just just during the halftime show. Right here is daytime, but over there is gonna be night. And then after that, the rest of the home games we played in Miami actually will be played in Fort Lauderdale, Lockhart Stadium for the temporary terms. I mean, these temporary seasons for like when the Sun Life Stadium is demolished when they develop to create a new a new home from the Miami Dolphins called the Yahoo Miami Dome. I mean saying the Miami Yahoo Dome. The Miami Yahoo Dome will be more modern than Sun Life. It will be in the same space as Sun Life Stadium is. Same thing like they did with the Marlins. They're gonna same do the same thing where the Yahoo, Miami Yahoo Dome is. It is what it is. I'm gonna show you the picture, but look, as I could remember, the Orange Bowl was demolished. If the, the Orange Bowl, Bowl was demolished in the video, they just never did it with explosive. The Miami Arena, on the other hand, where the future owner of the Miami Dolphins destroyed the old house of its of his basketball team. Because the American Airlines Arena has opened. And then 
I might, I might do the same thing with Sun Life. They're gonna put and it's even though it's gonna be called Joe Robbie again if it's decided to the respect of Joe Robbie, they're gonna put these explosives that are so harsh that could crumble the whole stadium. You know, it's going to die probably this year or the, in a few years or in a few years or something like that. You know, and since it, it, it started to open in 1987, but it's going to be demolished, you know, under the Mickey Harrison's ownership. You know, Lockhart Stadium will be a temporary stadium until the Yahoo Dome I mean, the Miami Yahoo Dome is totally uh, built. You know, it's going to be the same thing what happened with the Marlins. The Marlins, in the other hand, even though all these Florida Marlins, I mean, Miami Marlins players are going to New York, when they all end up in New York, you know, they have, they have end up playing either the Mets or the Yankees, you know. The Yankees are getting old, but most of the players of the Miami Marlins will go to New York and that's it you know this is how Miami sports franchises I mean except like if the Mickey Harrison's control the Miami Dolphins but this is how like messed up owners of Miami fran sports franchises do messed up you know Miami Dolphins is the oldest franchise the Miami Heat are doing better the Panthers I don't know I don't know why the heck they put hockey after all, this is what it is, right? The main reason, the main reason why is, is that, and the wonder, the reason why, if Mickey Harrison have have put an ex league team, if he was watching this this video that I'm showing, well, that this that his team, if an ex league franchise is formed in Fukuoka. Will be called the Carnival Dolphins. Why? Because Mickey Harrison is the CEO and owner of Carnival Cruise Lines. You know, you have uh, Cruise Lines, I don't know if we call it from Hakata Port to Hawaii, uh, cru a cruise ship called the uh, Dolphin. Then it would be, yeah, it would be a, um, a, a ship that is made in Japan that could go to Hawaii with no flaws. You know, because Japanese do stuff better than everybody else, or they improve things and make it better. Yeah. In a way, Mickey Harrison, owner of the Miami Dolphins, yeah, I mean, new owner of the Miami Dolphins, that I want to be the new owner of the Miami Dolphins, it is that I'm going to show you how the the... Yahoo Miami don't look like and I'll show you the picture a video of another clip that um, your moment of Zen that the moment of Zen is that when the Miami arena got explosive but this time if it's if it's the owner of the Miami Dolphins this would happen Japanese CEO I don't know who whoever this guy name is Yamaguchi or whatever Owner of the Miami Dolphins is Mickey Harrison. First home game of the Miami Dolphins played overseas. Rest of the home games for temporary for their temporary seasons, their temporary home will be Lockhart and Fort Lauderdale. And what it is is that when when this happens is that the only difference is that the explosions for Sun Life is gonna crumble the whole stadium to smithereens to build the new site of the Miami Yahoo Stadium. I hope you enjoyed this video and and I and I hope you could say something or comment whatever it is. Even probably some vloggers, maybe one particular vlogger might in the future might play the Miami Dolphins theme song or fight song in in a piano you know the piano version of the Miami Dolphins
fight songs. Miami Dolphins, Miami Dolphins, Miami Dolphins number one. But this chick was playing the keyboard because her hometown will play the, will, will be played the Miami Dolphins first home season game. But, you know, after all, I would say that this person is random Yoko that I think she's going to play the theme song for the Miami Dolphins because when when under the Mickey Harrison's ownership, the Miami Dolphins will play in her hometown. Against the Jets, I mean, J-E-T-S, suck, suck, suck. You know, I know how it is because maybe she might watch the videos and how's the reaction of people uh, rooting for the Jets suck. You know, thing J E T S yeah, suck suck suck. That's it. And then for Mickey Harrison watching this and thinking about the Miami Dolphins and the future of the Miami Dolphins and all that stuff. Then look at Facebook. Look at a, a friend of mine. I think that I like so much or love. You know, the name is my. What it is is then then the first season game played overseas. She'll she'll have a free dolphin dolphin ticket home game or the first home game com complimentary of me because that's what it is. She'll go to the dolphin stadium over there. Like she said, who gave me the, this free dolphin ticket when they played in Yahoo Dome in? But then that's in Japan, because the rest of the other home games will be played in Lockhart Stadium until the, the Miami Yahoo o Dome opens. But the year, or the the year when the inauguration of the Miami Yahoo Dome opens, most of the preseason Dolphin games will be played in Japan. That's right, in Fukuoka, Japan. So, see you later. I hope you like this video and it's time to show you the, the stadium and it's time to show you the moment of zen when the Miami Arena is blown up. Bye.